now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, you gotta love that number right there. Dew point value 68. Oh, that feels so good. When the dew points are in the 60s, you know, it feels so much better than when they're in the <laughs> upper 70s, which is what we started the week off with. And so some of the drier air has filtered in from aloft down to the surface through fictional, frictional forces. Plus, we have this northerly component to the wind, which has been kind of consistent throughout the last uh, 48 hours or so. But now, even this morning, it was almost due north, which has really done, done a nice thing for us in drawing down that drier air near the surface as well. So, 84 degree air temperature, and it feels very comfortable, even though air temperatures will today probably get up to near the 90 degree mark, which is where we've been over the last several days. With that lower dew point, the feels like temperature will be so much more pleasant. A lot of sunshine around, northeast wind kind of breezy. In fact, it may even become brisk as we head into the afternoon and get a little bit of a surge of uh, winds out of the east or northeast. 83 degrees, Wachula, 84. Arcadia, Mayaca's at 84. Parrish at 83. 84 degrees in Bradenton, Sarasota, Venice. 83 degrees in Boca Grande. Northport coming in at 85. And Punta Gorda comes in at 84 as well. So across the peninsula right now, you can kind of see some differences beginning to happen here, right? Uh, down into the south and back toward the east, we have a lot more activity than we saw yesterday. A lot more showers going on. And that will eventually translate into better rain chances for us as well. Right now, high pressure kind of remains firmly in control of the weather from about west central Florida on up through north central Florida and then through parts of the deep south as well. That area of high pressure will continue to rain across our region. Currently, not a lot of rain falling anywhere nearby us. You really do have to go south to find showers. Now, across the rest of the country, this big ridge of high pressure is kind of eliminating showers in most locations. Some cooler air has sunk south, more stable air across parts of the plains, the deep south, and the mid-Atlantic as well, with a departing area of low pressure off to the north and to the east. We are under the influence of that high pressure ridge. Now, the front is really not going to make it to us. This is not the one that really lowers our temperatures dramatically in October. It's the one that fizzles out to the north of us. The first little blast of cooler air for Tallahassee, though, so even though the front is kind of fizzling out, they do get a taste of cooler air. For us, an area of low pressure and that plume of moisture kind of rides through the straits over the course of the next several days and starts to up our rainfall chances. So by Saturday, I think, we start to see a lot more activity through north central Florida, including our region. And of course, with the extra cloud cover, with the cooling rains, come some slightly cooler temperatures as well. Of course, the humidity will go up. Nighttime lows will go up as well, just a little bit, because of the increase in humidity that we will see this weekend. But for today, lower humidity, low rain chance, sunny skies. Pretty nice day, actually, except the temperatures will run a little above average. Way out in the Atlantic, we still have Ophelia. Ophelia, even though it won't impact us in any way, may actually go down in record books. Here's why. 90 mile an hour winds right now. Significant strengthening. A Category 1 storm soon, perhaps to become a Category 2 storm, certainly maintaining Category 1 status for a while. And it may actually skirt areas of uh, Ireland as possibly a low-end hurricane or a tropical storm. There's only twice in history we've had a hurricane make landfall in Great Britain, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we are looking at a northeast wind coming in at about 10 to 15 today, surging tonight to about 15, and the forecast for the next several days keeps it warm, keeps it fairly dry, and then as we head into the weekend, our rain shower chances spike for those afternoon showers. Back to you, Scott.